In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to place text behind images and objects in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up again. Here in the magic world of Photoshop, understand first that the best and the easiest way to place a test behind an image is to get rid of the background. Let's see. So I have an image over here where I've gotten rid of the background already. So I'm going to drag and drop it inside of Photoshop. So once I have it over here, you would realize that I have my image as a separate layer and the background as a separate layer. So it is going to be very easy for me to place my test. That is, I'm going to choose my test over here and I'm going to place something like this so let me quickly change the test like this so you realize that easily i can place my test behind the image like this it is quite simple yeah but the problem arises when you don't want to get rid of the background first before placing your image or when you have something like a shape and then you want to place it in between the image so let me first tackle the aspect of placing the image in between an object and I'm going to illustrate this using the shape and then a test or perhaps a number for you to get the understanding. So let me grab my shape here. That is the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold shift and create a very nice. I'm going to press ctrl A and I'm going to center it over here. I'll change the color to white or perhaps you can just leave it like that. Take the fill to 0%, right click and go to the blending options over here. Now we're going to add a stroke to this one change the color to white and you click ok make sure that the size is quite enough like this um, and then you click ok so once you have this particular one over here you'd realize that I have my ellipse over here but then I have I want to have my image on top quite something like this but then the moment you place your image on top also you're going to face that problem of the rest of the ellipse going back beneath the image so we're just going to bring the image on top over here it is going to be quite simple okay so let's first transform the image a little bit to be bigger like this and then we want this part to show so we want to get rid of this part and then we want to get rid of this part as well so that all this area also will be showing so what we do is we're going to right click and then rasterize this particular layer style and then we're going to add a layer mask to it. And then we're going to press B to pick our brush. Now, let me zoom in so that you can get what I'm doing clearly over here. So we go to the layer mask of the shape that we want to get rid of. But remember, it was the main subject that was selected. So you realize from here. So now make sure that your foreground color is black to get rid of the image and then you can brush off this area. And then if possible, you want to brush off this area too, that is fine. But then in this case, we want it in between the shape. So we can go ahead and press Ctrl D to deselect. And then you realize that you have your image in between that of the shape. Now let me go over this with a figure so that you can at least get the concept. So what I do is I'm going to get rid of the ellipse over here. I'll go for my test and I'm going to type in a test. So let me go for the number six. Um, let me know your favorite number in the comment section. So I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform it out and place it somewhere around here. So something like this. And then we want the image on top of this one but then at the same time in between the number so what we do is we're going to drag the image beneath of the number and then we're going to right click on the figure rasterize the type and then we're going to create a layer mask we create the layer mask and then we're going to hold control and select our object and that is the image so what we do is we press b or you go for your brush tool you make sure that the foreground color is black and then you can go ahead to the layer mask that you created and then you can get rid of all these things because you don't want that particular one you can of course erase all these parts but then 
that is not the exact thing that we want you just remove this side and then you press ctrl d to deselect now you can see that you have your image in between the test so obviously you have a part of your image showing on top of the test and then you have a part of your image showing beneath the test so for the second part of this video where you don't have to get rid of the background here is how you go about it so first you're going to create your test so let's create any test say lab over here and you're going to press ctrl a to centerize it of which you don't necessarily always have to centerize it so i'm going to add a couple of um rulers over here so that you get to understand it very well because you're going to make a selection from there we're going to make a duplicate of the background or the main image and then we drag it on top of the test so you realize that the test is gone we're going to make a selection and that is the reason why i added the ruler so we're going to start right from where we have the ruler so we don't necessarily have to select all the image we're going to select just where we have the ruler so i'll go for any of the selection tools and in this particular image i'm going to use the magnetic lasso too because i think it has a kind of like resolution so it is going to be just fine if you have a very busy background you can try the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool so once you have the magnetic lasso tool like this when you hold alt it is going to change to the polygonal lasso tool which will be very useful for us at this point so you can go straight to the line that we created you see how easy it is and then you can select the side now you can come down using the same polygonal lasso tool and the moment you leave your hands off the alt it is going to change back to the magnetic lasso tool so you can easily play around with that why you have a very smooth area you use the magnetic lasso tool and when you have a very um, rough area you can use the polygonal lasso tool so let's get to this point and then we click over here and then we go straight with the line that we created or the ruler and then we get back to the initial point that we started so you realize that it creates a selection here for you and from here you go to layer layer mask and then review selection so once you click on the review selection you should have something like this so it reveals this part for you simple like that but then you realize that you have a couple of things from here we're going to fix that very soon now this is going to be very easy to fix if you want all your tests behind the image like this or perhaps if you want to style this up that depends totally on you but then this is how it works you select the layer mask you choose your brush tool like this and then if you have your foreground color to be white like this it is going to erase this part so you can just erase this part so that it, all the test will be behind it but then you can also create some kind of style to make some of the test behind it and some of them on top of the image to create that kind of style so what you do is you make sure that you have your foreground color to be black so in this case it has been reversed the layer mask has been reversed so when you have your instead of having your black to delete this time the black will be revealing so we're going to review a part of this ones like the v for instance and then that of o so that l and then e will be behind and then o and v will be on top so i'm going to increase my brush size and then i'm going to paint this area like that you see how simple it is you paint this side and then you can paint this side too and there you have it so now you have your test some of the tests to be in front of the image and even some of them more specifically to be behind the image which looks very simple and very easy to do so you can zoom in to make sure that all these parts are there clearly and then that is how you go about that mind you after here you can easily change your test or you can add any kind of adjustment to it or let's say a blending options effects anything you want to add you can add effects to this one as well it's quite easy and simple to do like this and that is how you create your test behind an image and then in between the image and in front of the image i hope this video was helpful if it was let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here 
and bye